Oh, well, I've had 10 years to prepare for it. I've mm -hmm. had a lot of good vets, um, a lot of great players, all-star, all-NBA guys, MVP guys I've played with um, to learn from. So it's, it's definitely prepared me for this moment. Uh, I feel like I'm ready for it. It's obviously a challenge. I'm not sitting here saying it's going to be a cakewalk. Uh, but I definitely have a lot of vets and a lot of previous history and uh, years of experience that I can learn from and, and kind of uh, instill in the team. Well, it's great. Uh, for one, representing D.C., uh, understanding the climate of HBCUs in today's world and, you know, appreciating, uh, you know, the seriousness and the commitment that everybody's making towards uh, recognizing them, building them up, getting kids more into their schools and programs. Uh, and for us to be here, uh, so it means a lot. I've actually known a few alumni to come through here, too, so uh, it's my first time actually seeing this. It's very, it's very cool. Um, but it's exciting, man. It's, 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 a, it's an unbelievable feeling to be committed uh, to an effort to where you want to bring awareness to HBCUs and bring that type of attraction. So uh, it's good for our community, good for the team, too. What was your message to the team when you talked to them? Straight to the team. Just, with no cameras for a reason. Uh, Can you, uh, message to your Baltimore fans. Baltimore fans, we love you. We hate we can't get up here and play a game, but we're going to try our best to do it. Uh, continue to support us. Continue to love us. We got Zay Ty with us this year, Baltimore's own. So please continue to support us. We love you guys. Uh, everything we do is for the DMV and also Baltimore. So we love you. That's where we originated. There we go. Do it. How would you describe Isaiah as a teammate? He is a humble kid, always willing to learn, and he works his tail off. You know, uh, I'm super excited for him. Uh, from where he was in the G last year, his development to now, uh, we took an opportunity on him, and he's just continued to want to get better. It hasn't been easy. It's been it's been a it's been a it's been a progress, uh, but he's grasped every moment of it. He's embraced every single step of it, and um, he's getting better. He's getting better and better. So you know, for us to be here for him too, his hometown uh, was great. He gets to embrace it, but he's going to continue to grow. I love his size, his versatility. He can shoot the ball really well. He has great touch. Uh, so he has, a, he has a great, bright career in front of him, for sure. Last question. Uh, he uh, obviously took a different path than most guys who come to the league at 19. Um, Wes Unseld said, you know, maybe he's got a better understanding of terminology and stuff. Have you noticed any difference between him and the average 19 year old as far as coming through that program? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is. He's very mature. Uh, and actually, playing in the G helped him. You know, because like you said, he's great grasping terminology. He's able to be around those guys, and they kind of play our type of type of game too. So it was. Uh, he's very adaptable. You know, that's what I love about him because he has he's 16, and he's like a four, but he can shoot it like a three. You know, so he's his, his versatility. The game has just continued to slow down for him. The more he plays, the more he's involved, and obviously being at this level, the game will be fast initially, but once it slows down for him. He'll be able to be special, you know, but he has to continue working until like Nah, um, I mean, basketball was pretty much my life growing up here, man. Um, and it's installed character in me since the time I, I started school. Um, and it's been something that I've been carrying with me, you know, since I left Baltimore. Um, everything from, you know, being a good person off the court um, and teaching everything, you know, that I learned to my little brother. I heard uh, through the grapevine that your cousin up there, is it Reggie Holmes? Yeah, Reggie Holmes, my cousin, man. You can tell him I said this, man. I beat him one-on-one -on -one any day. <laughs> what, what does it mean, though, to walk into a gym with your cousin up there as a, a legend in this sport? Um, I mean, like I was telling my family, man, like Baltimore is his own country, and we are all a family. Um, and just, you know, walking in here and seeing my cousin uh, as the leading scorer at a university here, um, that just means something special, man. I mean, for me to be able to carry that out and play for the Wizards and come back, um, it's a story, man. That's beautiful. Andrea, you said it's been a, a while since you're back. When was the last time you were actually able to come home and like actually make it? Um, I probably haven't been home for more than a couple of hours in like I want to say two, three years. Uh, were you able to have family come out and watch today? Yeah, my whole family, my immediate family, was here, man, watching. So I had my mom out there, my cousins, my brother, my sister, aunt. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Tell me something, especially Denver. Uh, Especially Texas baseball and other stuff. As a teammate, what have you learned about him from him so far? 
Uh, Spencer's a pro, man. And I mean that in the best way. Like, he he does what he's supposed to do at all times, and he carries himself like a businessman on and off the court. Um, he even set up something for the young guys, like, where he was teaching us about wine and stuff like that, like, kind of, you know, giving us an education on things that we might not even know about yet. Wine of choice being around Spencer. Um, I still know nothing about wine, but <laughs> Spencer was, you know, trying to give us some knowledge in that area, you know, uh, as an adult um, coming into that. So, yeah. Uh, every Baltimore player, man. I looked up to a Kill Car, Will Barton, the Twins. Uh, I was looking up to Muggsy Bowles. Um, pretty much anybody you can name that was from the city, man. Been through my coach, so. Sam Cassell, everybody, everybody you name. You ever talk to Will Barton? Yeah, I talked to Will all the time. I just talked to him the other day. Is there, a, is there like a Baltimore style of basketball? Uh, I don't know, man. That's a good question. I think that it is, honestly. I think everybody from Baltimore that plays basketball on a high level has that score mentality. Uh, I think everybody, you know, that I know that comes from Baltimore that's been playing on the, you know, the top levels have that score mentality. We haven't talked to you since uh, like training camp began and all that. And obviously, there's been a lot of discussion about how you were prepared for the NBA with the path that you took. Um, now that you've been in the NBA for a couple of weeks and been practicing, have you noticed like you being well prepared for certain things as a professional? Uh, it's a process, man. I mean, for me, coming in and learning as much as I can, that's the biggest thing right now. Um, and being a sponge and being around these guys and the age gap is there. So me coming in and really just being a star in my role is going to set me up to be a, a successful professional for the rest of the year, for the rest of my career and to be, you know, a, a guy that reaches his ceiling. Isaiah, you and Wes connected over being from the same area? Um, me and Wes, I, I mean, I knew he was from Baltimore, but I don't know what part he's from. So, he nah, I mean, he told me he's from Baltimore. I just don't know what part specifically he's from, but he's probably mentioned it. Uh, I mean, me and Wes, we kind of just talk about basketball. Um, he, he wants me to be a young leader. He wants me to come in and learn, like I said. Uh, he wants me to have energy and, and just be me. Easy enough. Yeah. Uh, have I played against Team Thrill? I played against them, played with them. Uh, know those coaches very well over there. Coach Mookie and all those guys are like family. Um, cause there were kids in the crowd, man, that probably never even seen an NBA player before. Um, and I remember if, if I was a kid and I was out there still selling water bottles and the Wizards came, uh, in the town, I would love if they signed something of mine. So it was good. Um, it, you know, it's, it's always a great opportunity to get home. Um, I give our guys a lot of credit after an hour, hour 10 bus ride. We still got something out of it. And, uh, you know, that's always kind of what we, our thought process with anything and everything we do is. Let's not just get through it. You know, let's continue to get better, trying to find ways to uh, clean things up, um, sharpen our minds, and, and make sure we're all on the same page. Did you have Wizards people telling you, like, remember now, you're, you know, you're showing out for people, and you're like, yeah, 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 I got stuff to do? No, no, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, these, these, these are enjoyable things. You get an opportunity to kind of reach out to the community, um, give back to some degree. But uh, we still, once again, it's, you know, it's a work day. So we're, we're splitting time, but we're also uh, accomplishing two things. Oh, he did. Like he, you know, he was fine, and then he, he felt a little tweak, and then was just like out of caution. Just said, you know what, just sit. Uh, we'll have a good shoot around tomorrow, and hopefully, he'll be okay. And that's in the cap. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, uh, what has been the point of emphasis, you know, since the last game? Obviously, you talked about three point defense. Like, what's that process been? Well, we we looked at it, you know, and we watched all of it, and I think it was great because uh, we, there were healthy conversations about what we did and didn't do. Um, and I think sometimes in your mindset throughout the flow of the game is it's just one specific thing. Um, and then watch the film, you're like, it's everything. So um, we were able to kind of put that to rest and, um, you know, have a good practice after that. But at least there was an understanding. We can be better in a lot of facets. So, um, you know, that's the challenge. And do, that, do it better tomorrow. We asked you a lot about three-point defense. And I realized you guys had a little bit of trouble shooting the three. I guess what was going wrong from your perspective? Nothing. We generated the right types of threes. Obviously, you got to make some, and I think we will. I mean, it's just to me, it's a rhythm thing. Um, we got open looks. We generated, the, you know, the, the correct type of threes, and 
I have no problem. Keep shooting those. Yeah, to some degree. And I think this is uh, giving us the opportunity to look at different lineups, different groups, different pairings. Um, at some point, we'll have to narrow that scope a bit and really narrow, narrow down our top, top 10, top 9 guys. But, you know, right now, we still have the opportunity to play with those different rotations, those different groups. Um, to your point, the depth is, is, is a terrific thing to have. At times, it's a problem, but it's, you know, something we, we can manage. Well, I think you, you always plan against a certain group. Your perception is different than the reality. And I've said this about Kuz, you know, they obviously both bring that leadership component. Um, they've played in big moments. Both have won a championship. But his playmaking ability, which was somewhat surprising to me, and part of that's just the makeup of that roster. He didn't, he didn't really have the opportunity to showcase that. So having him here, having him, um, you know, putting him in those different positions has allowed us to see some of that. Oh, well, yeah, it's great. Every, anytime you can kind of uh, give back or reach out, and it, it just bows to who he is as a person. Um, he's obviously, uh, you know, a very talented player, um, second in the league in scoring. But on the flip side, he's also last year won the Community Assist Award. So that just shows you what kind of guy he is, what type of leader he is. Um, and, and I think it's great for him to have that opportunity just in an or organic setting, reach out to those guys and just whatever the exchange was, you know, that, that comes from the heart. You can't say enough about it, you know, and I think oftentimes um, they get overlooked. And so anytime we can kind of put the spotlight on HBCU, I think it's a great opportunity. It's a learning curve, you know, for any young player. Um, and I think his experiences might be a little different than your standard, um, you know, rookie. But, uh, you know, having played in the G League gave him a little foreshadowing as far as the NBA life, um, the NBA game, the speed of the game. Uh, but I've seen him take incremental steps, which I think is terrific for his development. I think the players themselves play through Ignite has been asked plenty about how to prepare them. But yeah, from a coach's perspective, have you noticed a little bit, uh, the guys a little bit further up to speed than the average? Well, I mean, for an, an average, uh, probably average 19-year-old, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little different, I guess, with Corey, who, who played, you know, four years and, you know, somewhat of a veteran, you know, type uh, player. but. Just the speed of the game. I mean, some of the terminology I think he's already accustomed to uh, when it comes to some of the offensive stuff. So, you know, maybe that's not as big of a deal. Uh, you still have to learn our system and our philosophy. That takes time for any young player. Take one more question. No, I mean, I, I think, you know, we, we're going to just give him the time he needs. Whatever, whatever that is, you know, and to us, you know, that's the most important thing. But he's uh, been in constant contact, which is great. So we're on the same page in that in that regard. The biggest thing is we'll be getting him here and then getting him up to speed. Just supporting him in, in what he needs right now.